Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 208. Before we get started with the data I have today, I just wrapped up a big spreadsheet analysis for a client in Texas. If you need help pulling your data out of your PM system and into Excel and to do these kind of analyses, contact me today. I'm happy to help. What we have today is kind of an extension of what we had before. Instead of going doctors A, B, C, and D in just third quarter, I've got nine months worth of data and a bunch of doctors here because I just want to show you two tricks today to help when you're selecting data. It's great to be able to copy and cut and paste and use the format painter. It's helpful if you have more than one way to select. Typically when you're selecting cells you can just click and drag and select January but if you want to select say January and April and July the way to do it is to hold down the control key and then you can click and drag there's April and there's July and now that I have that data I can cut and copy and paste I can do all kinds of things if I hold down control and the rule with control is control when you drag and select will help you select cells that aren't next to each other contiguous is the magic word to say they're next to each other if they're non-contiguous then it control is the trick if you want to select cells that are contiguous that are next to each other you can always drag and this works you know there's the first two docs for the year here's this but if you have 10,000 rows that gets old fast or 10,000 columns or whatever if you have tons and tons of data that gets old fast. So what you can do is click the cell you want to start with, hold down the shift key, and the cell you want to end with, and Excel will select all of them. So it works this way, it works that way, and any combination of what you want in between. You don't have to select the whole row, you can do anything like that. Left and right, top and bottom, back and forth. Holding down shift will give you everything between the cell you started with, hold down shift, and the cell you end with. If you start with, let's just start on March for, what have we got, Dr. G, you could go like this and get all the way to July. The other thing you could do is if you, if you started here, you, let's click on this 44, hold down shift and click on this 44, and you can get a whole rectangle that's just defined by where you start and where you end, and Excel will select all those cells for you. So again, if you've got five or six cells, hey, you know, you can always drag something like that, and you've got it. But if you've got a big, long list, and you need to make sure you get what you want you can just hold down the shift key or you can hold down the control key and get whatever cells you're looking for and then cut copy do whatever you'd like to do with them easy today I want to show you one more shortcut next time stay tuned if there's a really 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 long list and you don't want to scroll up and down and click to the top and hold down shift or whatever there's some more shortcuts we'll go through them next time thanks for watching